Okay, guys, now uh, I hope that you have watched the uh, overview of the Yukon hammock. I'm not going to spend a lot of time discussing where you get it or what it is. I'm just going to go right into this uh, uh, build here. I have done two nearly identical videos here to keep them short, and I know both of them are a little long. I've done one that you can use the thread injector on, sew everything on, and the other one is for people who don't have a thread injector. This is a project that you can do without a thread injector, a sewing machine, okay? Please keep in mind that these videos are aimed at first-timers, at people who are real new to DIY, so uh, there's a lot of things that you might know, and you're probably going to say, why is that old man telling me what's he think I'm stupid? No, I'm just trying to help people out. So uh, I'm not going to, I'm going to do the same intro, and the same exit on each video. So if you watch this, and then watch the middle, and then watch the end, when you go to the next video, you can skip the end, and you can skip the beginning, and you just watch the middle, and then you can tell the difference between the two. Have I made any sense at all? Probably not, but that's okay. Watch the video. We'll talk to you at the end of it. Okay, what you're gonna wanna do now, uh, uh, to start with, is cut four pieces of material four inches square. I've already marked the width and the length of this. I'm going to mark these. You don't have to be perfect. It's not rocket surgery. Okay, fold over one side about a half to a quarter of an inch. Again, this ain't rocket surgery. Put a hem along one side and do the same thing on the opposite side. Then fold over the ends and when you stitch that, do a back stitch at the beginning and the end to kind of lock things together so the stitching doesn't come loose. There we go, we got two of them about three and a half inches square. Okay, now the next step is going to be to find the approximate center of each one of these squares. I'll just do it to this one here. You're going to do it four times. What I do is go to the back side, line up the points on the corner, track a little line around to the other corners. Strike a little line. That's where your center is. Now get one of your, your grommets. Get the female grommet. Lay it down there at about where it's centered. Color that in. So you know about the center and about the size of that circle. All right, now the next thing you do is you just get an X-Acto knife or something and you cut that circle out as carefully as you can and try to keep try to, there it goes try to keep it as round as you can and then just check take your male end and stick it through there I see that's just about right now do that four times okay now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mark the location of the hole that we're going to put in this thing that our ridge line will go through so we know that this is 54 inches wide i come over here and we're going to measure to the middle of it 27 inches and then from that point we come down no oh, let's see six inches now let's make it eight. We'll make it eight inches from the end. And that is where our hole will be. I'm going to hold my finger over that and I'm going to take one of the sewn ones and just make sure that hole I poked in that is centered over that location. Again, this isn't rocket surgery. You don't have to be exact. Just get a good location and then 
spill your pins all over the top of your hammock. Make sure you do that part. That's real important. Anyway, pin one to the top. Just get the location set. And then the fun part's going to happen. Okay, for the next part what you're going to do is you're going to unzip your hammock. You're going to take your second sewn piece. You're going to get up underneath the bug net. Line up the hole. Okay, it's the hole that's important. And not to locate the square lined up with each other. Get that lined up and pin it. Pin it 90 degrees to the other one. Okay, lay her out there on your thread, thread injector here and make sure you've got nothing but net underneath you there. Okay, run a, on these two sides, you're going to run a straight stitch all the way across. Okay, now what you want to do is you're going to turn it 90 degrees and then uh, lock the stitch. Go forward a little bit, back up a little bit. Go across and you get to the end, back up again. Do that on both sides, this side and that side. And what that does is that'll take that stitch, it'll cover up that one, and it'll lock it in. It won't get frayed. Okay, now what you got, you got it sewn around all four sides. You got it locked up on four corners. Now you want to get in there, taking your X-Acto knife, and just poke an X in the net. And then again, test fit it with your your male grommet. Push it through there. Make sure everything's all lined up. It comes through. Okay. net out of the way. Okay, there you go. Okay, this next step is the most fun of all. What you need now is a piece of wood and a BFH. Let's go. Okay, what you can see I've done here is I have laid a piece of cloth underneath the hammock and then another one underneath the board so that when I go to hammering on this grommet I don't ruin the fabric of the hammock. Your grommet tools are going to consist of a base and a striker and uh, sometimes they give you a, a, a little sharpened piece of pipe to cut the hole with. If I ever had one I've lost it. Uh, I've had this for a long while. Now what you do is you get up under here, you put this base, you put your male end through the hole, you let it sit on that base. And you take your female end, put it with the round side up, set that striker on there, and just go wailing away at it. And there you go. You've got a set grommet. Well, there you go. Uh, now, what, I, what we've done is we've installed grommets on both ends of the net on this hammock so that we can run a ridge line through it. Now, I'm not going to go into ridge lines a whole lot. Uh, if, you want, if you already know the kind of suspension that you want to use on your hammock, just go watch uh, Suge Emery's video on ridge lines. I I'll put that down in the comment section. Otherwise, uh, watch the next video that's coming out that shows uh, my preferred method of suspension on these kinds of hammocks for the uh, new hammock camper. Okay? That'll be a shorter one than the one you just watched. 
Go get a cup of coffee and then turn the next video on. See you down the trail.